So that's it for Unit 4 on how to create an age-based model. And we've gone all the way from designing the model to actually building out the model to adding on complication after complication and complexity to the model in very interesting ways, right? And then we went all the way to kind of very briefly showing you how to grab the data out of the model, analyze it. Now, the next, uh, of course, if that was all there was to it, we'd be done right now, but we have another five weeks of this course to go. And the reason why partially is because that was a very high level look at what's going on. And in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be taking much in more in-depth looks at each of those individual components and in, in their aspects of the model. Uh, but before we do that, I got a couple of things coming up for you. One is that um, I've got the slides and the exam for this unit, obviously, coming up. Um, I also have a homework assignment for you. Uh, and this is your first peer uh, reviewed one. Uh, and this is going to be dealing with answering those design model questions about your agent-based modeling design, right? And so what I'm going to have you do is fill out a form similar to the one, the questionnaire we did earlier, but, you know, I wanted you to have another chance to revisit it based upon what you've done. In this case, it's going to be submitted to some of your peers to evaluate, uh, to see that you've actually kind of done it correctly. And of course, they're not going to be evaluating whether or not you have a good idea for a model or whether or not um, you, you, you are doing it the best possible way. They're going to be evaluating to make sure you understood the concepts we've talked about, about what are properties, what are behaviors, things like that. So that's going to be the assignment that's going to be coming up. And then the other thing I think you might be very interested in seeing is that I managed to have some time recently to talk uh, to Professor Shelley, uh, who's now retired uh, and living in uh, the state of Maryland. Uh, and I went to his house and I did an interview with him about what he thought of as being the first agent-based model. So that's going to be your bonus video for the week coming up after this. Thanks. See you next week when we start to dive into the components of an agent-based model.